Yes, sir. Yo, what is good, fam? Welcome to episode 58, Speaking of Which Podcast. Got my mans. How you are? In the building and my man's John over there. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold stop on, playing. We out yeah. here, man. Yeah, man. Yo, so. shout out to you pulling up. Came all the way from Cali. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate y'all for having Damn, me. Damn, that's fine. Yeah, of course, bro. And you know, I think it's uh it's dope to have a conversation with you because we fuck with people who fuck with us. Yeah, oh, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? So to have you here. It's a, it's a pleasure, and right. uh, just to get your story, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I think you have a lot to tell. I nah, think definitely. What part of Cali? Uh, I live in, um, it's like Hollywood Hills, like okay. Hollywood Hills area. Okay. okay. By like Sunset Boulevard and shit like that? Uh, I say a little more up, the, like to the hills, like a little more up. Okay, yeah. okay. So, uh, if you don't already know, our man's is uh, a part of working on dying and, you know, has done a few collaborations that... You guys may know, mm-hmm. and you're originally from LI, no? Yeah, I'm from uh, the South Side of Valley Stream. Valley Stream, exact. okay. Yeah. Who are some people from Valley Stream that we may know? Um, well, a main person I like was in the music scene was Swoosh. Swoosh guy, big. okay. Um, I'm not too sure who else, but I know Swoosh was really big in, in Valley Stream. There was a couple. I think there's a couple other people like uh, the kid Young Fazo. Young Fazo, I yeah, Young Fazo. I think he's Fazo. from I think, Maybe. I, think I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> he's from know somewhere. I know he went to. I know he went to some school in Valley Stream. I'm not too sure though. Where, 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 yeah, where yeah, some some before. good talent coming out of yeah. Long Island, honestly, and you're one of them. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That, yeah. Long Island's one of those places where it's kind of like the the ugly cousin or the little sister to New York City. You know what I'm saying? Right. So usually it doesn't get his respect, but. I don't I don't get it because there's a lot of there's a lot of talent out of Long Island. It's just more of I think feel I feel like people are more like how can I explain it like they don't really show each other love. Like if we showed each other love, everybody would go somewhere music wise. People don't show each other love out here. Why well, think people they're don't... so inclined to rep a lot? They always kind of be on the on from the city. I don't know about that. I see that a lot. That's I know strange, there's a couple right? people that are from Long Island that say they're from Queens or like. Is Tekka from... from Queens or LA? What's going on? I don't with know, that? Comment. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Nah, some. This is. I don't know. I just find it kind of odd. Like just rep it, man. They just all do out. that. You know nah, who reps yeah. LA? Zilla Kami, bro. He does. Yeah, Zilla, Zilla's, Zilla's, Zilla's hard. He definitely Zilla's does. Super hard. Zilla is hard. We I actually went to, have a friend who like sat yeah. at the lunch table with him and all that. Yeah, like yeah. went to school. With him. What part of of LA is he from? Bayshore. Oh, okay. Right, right next to Brentwood. Right. He goes to this diner all the time. I forgot. Oh, the name. Uh, Peter Pan Diner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to that it? Tilly's. It's uh, in Bayshore. Uh, Tilly's. I remember that Tilly's. We, he was there to do autograph signings in the mall. Yes, yes, was that yes. Smith Haven Mall. That was in Smithtown. But yeah, he definitely reps it a lot. Yo, I want to know, yeah. what were some of your inspirations growing up? Because. Uh, you know, coming from LA, you got different flavors that come up in here. Sure, it's a lot. The area. Yeah. Well, in suppose, like from Long Island or just in general? In general. In, in general. general, I would say, like, my mom was one of my, like, I'll give her my, that was my first inspiration. Like, That's everything fine. she's done for me as a single mother, she's, you know, put, she's done a lot. That's um, dope. That's mm-hmm. dope. Shout out to That's mom, dope. too. Yeah, That's, yeah. Dope. That's my biggest inspiration. Um, And then my grandmother, too, is another inspo. She was very stern, you know strict and kept me uh in check every time i was doing something bad or like doing something stupid that's what's up that's but what's um up. inspo music wise like uh i say my biggest inspo i fuck with alicia keys like my mom played Bro. alicia keys yeah <laughs> alicia keys is she's one of my first crushes man like, yeah, okay. that, that's, that's what i'm saying like, i used to be on the couch like wow she's yeah. beautiful yeah the music with videos the braids, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Tough. on the piano that was crazy yeah, I keep on falling. <laughs> and I see now, I was like, oh man, yeah, I'm falling for sure. Nah, yeah, Alicia <laughs> Keys was big. My mom played like a lot of R and B when mm. we were like when I was younger. Like she would always play like Neo, like all that stuff, like Ashanti and everything. Early 2000s go yeah, crazy. Yeah, and she was hella big on like Dipset and like Joels and everybody, like all of that. So I was like, I would say like Dipset, Alicia Keys, like uh, all the old school stuff. And if you're gonna go like producer wise, I say Southside. Southside South was a big like uh, was one of the reasons why I wanted to produce. You know what I'm saying? It was big a big reason too. Yeah, that whole what about thing. like 808 Mafia? I fuck with 808 Mafia because I feel like when Southside was coming up, I always heard him alongside like mm-hmm. you know 808 Mafia. Yeah, that's his shit. group. Like he, he, that's him. Like word word. He's See, I don't even know though. Yeah, yeah, he's 808 yeah, Mafia. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That whole collective. Yeah, yeah. He used to do um back in the day. It was like I don't know if he still does it, but I remember like when I was like playing basketball before I was even producing, I was, like, watching his, like, vlogs. 
And like he was like in the studio. Mm-hmm. He would like, be with Metro hard. a lot too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was with TM eighty eight and them mm-hmm. a lot too. Yep, like, yep. He was uh he would get like haircuts in the studio and I'm like, Oh, that shit's dope. Like yep, and then yep. he'll just start making a beat right after the haircut. So instead of like the Wiz document or vlogs, you remember those with yeah, Khalifa? Yeah, yeah, you was, was watching tough, yeah. <laughs> I was watching eight away I was watching South Side shit, yeah. That's hard, that's hard. South Side shit was tough. Uh any other inspirations like as of recently though? Uh recently I suppose I would say Mm, that's a good one. Mm, that is a lot, right? Um, Who you want to give your flowers to, man? Mm. I'll give flowers to Filthy. That's a big inspo. Wake up. That's a big inspo. Filthy, like, took me under the wing and really, like, showed me what it is to be, like, a fr- like he has a, he's a real friend. Like, besides the music shit, like, he really is my, like, my homie. That's also, so, like, that's family. dope. So, I say Filthy. Like, Filthy really was one of the biggest people that's an inspiration. Like, he had... I sent him. I remember the first time we spoke. We was uh, we was gonna work. I sent him loops over, mm-hmm. and like I I paid for the lab. Like you know what I mean. Like I'm like yo, I'm gonna pay for the lab. See how it goes. I I sent the um the melodies over. He sent beats back and was like yo, you inspired me. Damn, like, that's, that's hard. Like, I was like yeah, I was like yo, that's dope. Like coming from somebody that's like you know what I'm saying like, that statue. So I was just like, from there on, like he was like yo, just like let's work. And I, ever since then, we just locked in. And Damn, how's his work ethic like? He's a monster. Like I'm up six in the morning, he's up. Damn, like, he I was mean, already up past yeah, the, like the, the day before. Yeah, insane. like I'm up. If we staying up days, like sending shit back, boom, 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 like working, 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 like nonstop, and it doesn't stop, like because there's so much stuff to send to you. you know what I'm saying so many right. artists, like. Damn, boy, he probably yeah. eats shit, sleeps. Nah, literally. <laughs> if he's, I ain't gonna lie. If he's not on, if he's not on that laptop, he's on the game Twitch stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a few of his yeah. Twitch streams. Yeah, hey, yeah. If he's, he's not, funny as, yeah. yeah. If he's not doing that, he's doing that. So you're originally from Long Island, but you recently moved to Cali. Like, what was a part of that move? Um, a part of that move was just like, not like I. I really, I really wasn't a school person. So like in high school, like I would hate school. Like I would be in school and be like, bro, I fucking hate this shit. Mm-hmm. Stay in school though. Everybody that like that's in school, stay in school. Like, you're gonna need that. But I just wasn't one of those people. I just was like, I don't like school. And then um, my mom pretty much like when I got to, it was time to go to college. I left to college to like play basketball. At this time I'm playing basketball. I'm like, you ball? Yeah, Stop yeah. Stop playing with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What yeah. position you play? Uh, I was like, Point guard, shooting guard, and small forward. Like I rotated. You know his Jameer Nelson shit. Yeah. Stop playing with him. <laughs> <laughs> Jameer Nelson, Stop, man, Randy, Stop man. playing yeah, with him. Say, so. Like Aaron McKee or some shit. <laughs> but Anthony Carter shit. But yeah, so from there I was playing ball. I wasn't even like really producing yet. Like I was strictly playing basketball. So I had went away to college for basketball. And what college was that? It was a community. It was like a JUCO. It was a Niagara County Community College. I went to there, and then I was like, bro. School, like, it's still, you still got to go yeah. to class, you feel yeah. me? Like, so I'm like, right. bro, this is whack. So I remember, failed all that. I was like, yo, I'm going back to the crib. Went back to the crib pretty much after, like, a year and a half or yeah. something. And my mom was just on some shit like, yo, you could get a job or you could get out. And mm-hmm. what year is this? What time? This from? was, like, 2018, 19, around there. Okay. Okay. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you were, like, were you... Managing uh, Chow Lee at the time or something like that? Nah, I wasn't managing Chow. Chow just my bro, like, and I just believed in Chow at the time. So, like, anytime I knew somebody that was, like, an A&R or some sort, I would right. just be like, yo, listen to him. Like, that's, I, how we, that's how we got in contact, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sending Chow out to everybody, and then there was, like, times where, bro, like, if I'm sending beats out to a label that's asking me for beats, yeah. I'm sending a Chow open with it. You know what I'm saying like, and they're that's like, cool. yo, they're like, what's this? And that's I'm, a little secret sauce. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so they're like, what's this? And I'm like, oh, just listen to it. Like, just let me know what you think. And they'll, you know, A and R's do what the A and R's do. So, right, right. And then but, I'll hey. just go from there. Yeah. That's, that's hard. Weird. That's hard. So, uh, what what really sparked that decision? You was like, yeah, Fuck my it, I'm mom going just Cali, gave, bro. my mom just gave me the ultimatum. She was like, yo, either you you work or you dip. And I was on some shit like, yo, I'm out. And being stubborn, you know what I mean? I'm out. So I dipped. And but when I you was, say you out, like you out to, you already had producing in your mind? No, nah, like, I was producing at this time. Like okay, this time okay. when I'm I was in, just, yeah, let me backtrack a little. When I was yeah. in college, that whole time I was failing, I picked up the laptop mm. and I was producing. Like I taught myself how to produce during that time. And then Fuck. during that time when I had came back, I was like in cinematic records a lot. Like I was sitting inside cinematic a lot because I knew an A&R that worked. Shout out Shipes. Yeah. yeah, shout out Shipes. He was a cool dude. So I was in there like 
damn near every single day. Like, I would go to Brooklyn with my last $20 Uber over there and just damn, kick it there. That's hard. I'm seeing every artist walk through, whatever. Long story short, I was like, my mom gave me the ultimatum one day, and I was just on some shit like, all right, I'm out. So I dipped, and then um, I stayed on my boy's couch at the time, and I was just like, everywhere he was going, I was on his couch. So it just was like that. What, yeah, part, of Cali, what part of Cali is that? Uh, at first, we was in Koreatown, and that was like... Thugging it. Yeah, that was <laughs> thugging it. Damn. But you know what's, you know what's crazy? I'm Look, there's a crazy story. We're in Koreatown. I'm walking to the store one day, uh-huh. right? Yeah. I look on the balcony, like... Somebody's on the balcony just talking on the phone mad loud. It's, it's filthy. No, I'm nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's my boy Eddie P. Okay. And that's Eddie P is like Chow and everybody. Like that's like he he has the brand called Danger in New York. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the hats and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I seen him up there. He saw me and was like, What the hell? Like and then that's when that the doing it. I linked up with Lonnie, Chow and them again. Like, cause I grew up with them. Like I known them for a minute. Okay. Yeah, so then I linked up with them again, and then we was in Cali thugging it. During this whole time, like, was your was your mom, like, supportive and your grandma supportive of, of that move and stuff? No offense, nah. Hey, man. No offense, it happened, no offense to my mom, no offense to my grandmother, but, like, they did not believe in it. Like, That's my real mom, talk, though. That's real shit. Yeah, like, they were telling me, like, yo, you have to get a job. You have to go to school. And I'd be like, no, I don't. Like, this is what I want to do, and I'm not doing anything else that you want me to do. I'm doing this. Respectfully, facts. And it was yeah. like... It was like they didn't like it. So from there, it was like a lot of, you know, headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. And then recently, my mom, like, and my grandmother kind of woke up, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, like, this is, like, this is real life. Like, this is what he's doing. Right. Mm. Yeah. That's dope, man. So you're, now you're in Cali. It's like 20, what, 19? It's like 2019, 2020, like, almost. Like, I was going back and forth. Like, I would come to New York and I will stay at my boy Dan's crib or I would stay at. You know what I'm saying? Like, just one of the homies' cribs, and then I'll go back to, to Cali. But, like, 2020, Pandemic I went Pandemic shit. So yeah. how did that affect Bro, shit? I went back to my mom's crib because it's the pandemic. I'm like, yo, I'm about to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So I go back, and it's like, now we're all in the house together. So it's like, we're just immediately arguing, like, every day. It's Damn. like, you know what I'm saying? Are you trying to, like, make beats too mad loud? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, but that's the thing. They're arguing because I'm making beats loud. It's like, yo, yeah, yeah, it's like, yo I'm trying to sleep. You're trying to make beats. It's not working. So then um, I was just, like, mid-pandemic, I went straight back to my boy crib. And I never came. Like, after that, I was like, yo, this is it. Like, this is what I'm doing. Were yeah, you playing the so beats so. off the laptop or you had big-ass speakers? I was playing it off the laptop, and then I had God speakers. And, um... Yeah, it was once the speakers came in, it was over. <laughs> What's the difference between using big ass speakers and your headphones? Uh, headphones, you kind of hear it, like you hear you hear things more. Yeah. But on the speakers, it's like, but well, how can I explain? What everyone hears, like you know what I'm saying? Like it's more like, I don't know, it's just sonically better than mm. than a headphone. Like a headphone, you can play it even with your, good quality headphones. Yeah, still, like, it's not it the same. Is, yeah, it's not the same. Okay, Speakers okay. are just better than headphones, in my opinion. But other people Word. like headphones. I know, mm-hmm. I know, engineers like mixing and and mastering with the headphones in sometimes because mm-hmm. they know majority of the fan base yeah. is going to be listening to there. Yeah, that's another thing. Like when you when I make a beat, I listen to it on my phone. I'll send it to somebody. And they'll listen to it, and then I'll get their feedback, and then I'll listen to it on the speakers, the headphones, yeah. the in the car. car. Yeah, yeah, like I'll do the whole. Yeah, one yeah for sure. Yeah. So you're back in Cali, man. What's the move at this point? Because, you know, I know working on dying and filthy comes along the way. When when, when did that happen for you? So. And did you know about them before they? Yeah, yeah, up? of course. Okay. The, well, you know, that's the best team, like. Okay, where? Well, um, Especially after Dilate. I mean, Dilate. Uh, whole lot of red. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so at this time, I'm in Cali. And around this time, it's like pandemic. Yeah. So I'm in, I'm making beats. I'm making beats. I'm sending it to like Chow. You know what I'm saying? Like swoosh at mm-hmm. the time. Like I'm sending it to everybody that's like I've been working with. And then, um, yeah, I just seen filthy posts like, oh, collabs for whatever price it was at the time and i would just hit him up like yo i got that and i just <laughs> same Fine. night sent it and i was like yo let's work and then that's when that story came into like came in play it was like oh like it was like yo like this beat like inspired me it was like a, a beat that we made that was like a lincoln park beat it sounded that's like that's hard yeah that's it sounded like i love lincoln. that type of shit he, lo- he likes like dc to don type shit too oh yeah that's fine. Love that shit. Yeah, yeah, it's it great. was like it was like a lincoln park 
like type of beat type mm-hmm. vibe. And he um he posted it on Twitter. So I'm like, oh, all right, like he's fucking with me. So then there's some traction. Okay. Yeah. So from there it was like, all right, this is cool. And then he was like, yo, just like let's keep working. And I was like, all right, bet. So we just stayed locked in, like just kept sending, 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 and then we're sending it out to every like other artist. And then from there it was like one night I remember we were just you know chopping it up regular, just speaking. And he, I was just like, yo, like I just pretty much said it, like oh, I'm working on Dine's best rookie. Like I was trolling him. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, "Nah, you dead are." Yeah, like, that's oh, hard. Yeah. You like, spoke it into existence, no yeah. cap. <laughs> so then, um, I I put it on my story. He reposted it, and then from there it was like wildfire. Everybody started hitting me like, "Oh, let me send loops," or people following me. And it was right. like, "Yeah, this is cool." Damn, that's, that's hard. hard as hell. Yeah. Oh, D. So when it comes to like, cause we all have that that time period where people are like reaching out and stuff like that. How do you gauge? Who you really want to work with and who you, you know, who, you know, it could wait a little bit. Um, it's, it goes like, there's people that like really do this and then there's people that do it for the image. Mm-hmm. And I could, anybody could, you know what I mean? 10 like, seconds you, you in, could, you could yeah, tell. Yeah, like you could tell, like, and if you're really doing this, like you could be a 14 year old kid from like Germany and you could be hitting me up, like sending me stuff, like whatever, like. If you really do it, like, I'm going to work with you because I know this is, like, something that you're really trying to do. Like, this is really, like, mm-hmm. what you want your life to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not, like, a little gimmick to you. So that's that's the main thing. Like, if I could tell, like, you really want to work. Like, there's kids that hit me up from Montreal, my two, like, closest homies now, um, May Cry and Brack. They hit shout me up. Shout out to them. Yeah, shout out Brack and May Cry. They hit me up. Well, Brack hit me up, and he wanted to work, and I was on some, like, oh, like, you got to pay for the lab. And he was on some like I don't really pay for labs, so I'm like, mm. I'm like, oh, I'm like, all right, bet. So I was like, yo, then send five loops, and if I like, if I like them, I'm gonna get on them. Mm-hmm. And, Just step up a little bit. Yeah. yeah, he was like, he was like, if I was like, yo, if you have, if you could send me five loops and I like them, I'm, you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. hard. I'm on them. And then he sent them, and then from there it was like, boom. I was like, that's yeah, what's up. Sick. I also saw early on like, uh, forgive me if I uh, forget his name, Buku. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Buku's my, that's my who, right hand. Who, who's that? Give that's, some insight on who, who, who Buku is. is like, that's my Yoda. Like, <laughs> literally, like, that's my Yoda, bro. Like, he taught me how to use FL. Like, he showed me FL. I was on Logic at first. Okay. Then he showed me FL. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, what is FL? So you prefer that now? Yeah, I don't touch anything else but FL Studio. Okay. So okay. he showed me that, and I'm like, all right, cool. So I started locking in with him on FL, and then from there, like, he's showing me, like, little things to do, like, how to just make beats like sound better and just hit better everything and then from there I kind of took it and did my own thing and um yeah Buku's my bro that's like my best friend my day one like that's, fire. that's like my right hand bro that's fire yeah Shit, man. I always wonder how it is when it comes to like rappers and their industry homies and then producers and their industry homies like producers and industry homies I think are more like I feel like y'all for each other, no cap. Yeah, right? like I think it's I more like, like it's more of a brotherhood as opposed to rappers and shit. Yeah, you know. gotta watch, like you gotta like support another producer. Not every producer, but like once you guys work together, it's like yo, like I got this going. You wanna get on it? Like yo, you wanna? Yeah. And it's just like it's a lot uh, more collabs. I yeah, feel like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How do you feel about the stigma? For whatever reason, I don't think there's a problem with it personally. But how do you feel about multiple people on a beat, like five, six people on a beat? How do you feel about that? I understand why people get mad because, like, we be, like, you know, managers will tell us, like, yo, you know what I mean? Oh, like, splits and shit, right? Or- yeah, like, that's how it is. Like, but at the end of the day, like, again, that goes back to what he said. Like, mm-hmm. if you, what Aaron said, if you making it with, like, if you're making a beat with, like, Buku and Brack, mm-hmm. I don't care about what the splits are. Like, let's just get the record out. Like, you know what I'm saying? But right. artists don't like that because they feel as if they got to break more bread, which I feel is, like, if you break more bread, we could keep making more music. So it's like, no, nah, absolutely. Mm. But how do how do you tell who gets more bread for the beat? Like who did, contributed more? Or it's like, just like or the, who, even the tag on it. It's like, just it, honestly, bro. It's just, that's another thing too, right? Honestly, like it's just who did more? Okay. Like who did more in the beat and who? Well, who has the end all say all for that though? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So look, look, look. So it's like you did the melody, right? Yeah. If your melody is the reason why the beat sounds amazing, okay, you did, you got that. You, you know okay, what I'm saying? Like okay. that's that's you. Like that you get sense. whatever portion you get. But 
if I'm putting drums on the beat and you ain't do nothing but just the melody and my drums are carrying the beat and the mm-hmm. reason why the beat is going crazy, okay, that's me. But who is, says is that that's like you? Unspoken? No, that that's something that that's just known. Like that's okay. like an unspoken then, thing. Yeah, and then okay, another okay. thing is I like yo, that was more of a contractual thing. No, no, no. Another thing is like who's the bigger producer? At the end of the day, like that's the realness of it. Like okay. it's like I get it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm. And it, it's sad to say that, but it's just like it, that's what it's just honestly. How it is. And it's, it's just how it is. At the end of the at the end of the day, too, the bigger producer tag does hold weight, yeah. so it doesn't hurt to like. All right, nah, yeah, go ahead, bro. Me, that's me and Filthy. You know, yeah, it doesn't can't, hurt. I can't say the formula, but me and Filthy, we work our ass off, bro. Like we do our thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, his tag shakes the room every time, and I take that tag as like. It's my tag. A like, badge of honor, too. Yeah, like, yeah. that's the team tag. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? I'm running with that. Like, we we putting that on our backs, and we we running with that, like, no matter what. You know what right. I'm saying? And that's how it's going to go. Mm. I've always wanted to, like, depending on the artist and how big they are, do you lower your price for the if an if, uh, artist is bigger? Or even a price at all. Cause, um, yeah, like, if an artist is huge, <laughs> do you even do you have the same price, or do you lower it? Do you even you know dare what I mean? have the conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> I mean, like, it depends on the artist, like, you could get like a bigger artist comes with labels, you know. So it's like you just negotiate really at that point. It's like, yo, how much is like you know what I mean? How mm. much you want to spend on the beat? And, and this is like, after the fact when they're about this to is drop. Ab- yeah, it's when they're gonna drop. That's if they doing good business. Mm. Mm. Cause some people just some PS. people would just you know drop it and then just like try to like you know what I mean? Oh, I didn't see you. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> They try to duck <laughs> yeah. your shit. Yeah. They try to duck you, and it's like, bro, you can't duck me, bro. Like, I made that beat, bro. So, <laughs> I'll definitely you know, and have it taken down from all DSPs. Yeah. Like, I mean, I didn't, me. at the end of the day, me, <laughs> me, I don't really do like, like if we, I'm, I see, I see it as art. Like, I don't really care about the money aspect of it. Like, bro, if if we making good art, bro, the, the money's gonna, gonna come. come, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not really stressing like up front. Like, if you're gonna give me fifteen hundred, like, bro, I don't, I don't, it's whatever. With that being said. Has there ever been a placement that you almost got or whatever the case may be, they, they switched things up and you just weren't involved? Mm-hmm. Anything or didn't come out, anything like that that could have been life-changing? There's a lot of life-changing songs. Or could have, yeah, right? There's a lot of, like, yeah. I mean, there's right now I have a lot of situations. Like, that's, like, under, you know what I'm saying? Can't really say too much. I don't right, know, and you you're know. just hoping that it comes out. Yeah, like, and I'm just hoping it don't leak. Like, mm. that's the main thing. I don't want it to leak. Like, as long as it just stays, you know what I mean? And everything just stays cordial and we just, you know what I mean? Everything's tidy. I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. I'm good with it. Word. Any, but, can you speak on any artists in particular uh, what, that didn't come out? Like, you know it's not going to come out. It's done deal. Um, I don't, that's the thing. I don't have anything that's not coming out yet. Okay. Like, I'm not mm. even trying to be on no cocky shit. Like, nah, right, 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 right. Like, yeah, there's, shit. there's, like, every song that I have, like, I know. Like there's paperwork behind it, or there's okay. words behind it. Like, yo, I'm gonna drop this, or I'm gonna do this. So, that's what's up. Right now, I don't really have a track that like didn't come out that was like big. Mm-hmm. That was like kind of life changing. I, I every track I have right now is like solidified right now. Fire man. And you mentioned leaks. We talk about it all the time, Aaron and I, because you <sighs> oh, know he man. he appreciate leaks. Sometimes I'm some t- I'm a, I'm a I'm an old head it. with the leaks. I like Lil like, Wayne leaks, like back in the day and shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. my favorite Wayne songs are leaks. But today, like, I have a different perspective on it. I just feel like it's, like, really disrespectful to the artist. One. Nah, yeah, I think leakers. And the fans, <laughs> they fuck shit up. They fuck up the yeah, rollout. No, no, I think anybody it's... that leaks, no offense, but yeah. I think y'all should die, bro. Y'all nah, are, y'all are fucked up, bro. Like, <laughs> no offense. Like, no offense, but drop dead. A leaker, yeah, drop dead. Like, you got, because like, you got to look at it this way. Like, they don't understand, like, you're leaking somebody's art, one. Two, you're taking money away from everybody that that person is doing it for like, yeah true. his mother his kids like everyone her kids her mother like you know what i'm saying like you're just taking away from the aspect of what this person does it for you know what i'm saying so it's like yo bro like just respect it and like music i get it like everybody's like yo like you like everybody be itching for the music like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. waiting waiting but like but in turn that that fucks them up it fucks up the fans yeah 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 it does it does but i'm saying like would you rather the best art or would you rather some he just like all right here you guys keep annoying me let me just yeah let me just drop this or like she's just like let me just drop this Mm. you know what i'm saying like you want him you want her him or her to like really sit down 
and give you what you want that you're tweeting about, like, oh, I want him, him or her to be sad. Let him go. Let him, him or her go through the, the emotions to get there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Now the only leaks I really truly care for is like Cardi and uh, yeah. <laughs> and Juice World. Really. That's a whole culture. Like, a whole I, bro, I got like 50 Juice World leaks on my phone. No, nah, yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> dead ass, bro. They, yeah, I, bro. I feel bad for like they got to let Juice. Nah, rest, they bro. did. They bro. Even before he passed, this was like 2019 summer. I was doing Uber at the time. Yeah. And I, <laughs> they had no idea. My passengers had no idea that in my left uh, AirPod, mm-hmm. I was bumping a YouTube video with like. 50 uh juice world leaks bro it was like it was one long video and if you go on the pinned comment you'll see you know each song so but i just had the whole shit playing they have no idea i'm bumping i'm sad as fuck (laughs) yo this is crazy how the leak yo that video been gone nah yeah the leaks but you know leaks also play out in sometimes the yep. artist's favor. Like, like Neon. That is true. Like, uh, Pissy Pamper. Mm-hmm. It was a hit. Yeah, but that, that could have been his official that gave number a whole, one, like, certified. But that's yo. what I'm saying, though. It's like, you leaked that. Yeah. If you just waited, it could have been something that everybody wanted it to be. And it's just like, Juice World, for instance, like, 30, whatever, 30, 50 songs, mm-hmm. those 30, 50 songs could have been, like, the projects that come out now. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or, like, you know, God, uh, God bless him. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's. I hope he rest in, rest in yeah, peace. For everything, sure, like, for sure. But it's just like that could have been an art, like an art piece that everybody wanted. Like right. Everybody was just waiting for it. It just ruins a moment. Yeah, it does. Like a uh, whole lot of red, to our knowledge, yeah. or you know, it's just only the speculation. Whole V1 era, man. Yeah, there was a whole volume one of whole lot of oh, red, yeah. and we got mm-hmm. volume two supposedly. Yeah. Two, three, because whatever. of leaks. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it, it kind of ruins moments, but then, like you said, there's people that benefit off of that shit. Yeah. The leaks, the leaks sometimes, you know, depending on what it is, it gains traction. You mm-hmm. know, it gets everybody, like, it gets a fan's perspective. Like, sometimes leaks aren't so bad, but then again, leaks are always bad because if something that there's you, no guap yeah like <laughs> at the end of the day there's no money yeah and even even not even the money aspect the art aspect of it is like yo like i can't wait to do this rollout for this like i can't wait to shoot this video this way to show them this oh now you kind of can't now right like, can't. Right, yeah. right you know what i'm saying like now it's just out and it's mm-hmm. just like damn i couldn't even give happens you. with uzi a lot I uzi got so many fucking leaks to. yeah like that of course song yeah, Uzi got a lot. Uh, I remember he played I, it at Rolling Loud. You saw the video of the producer of that that got surprised when he played that. Mm-mm. You definitely know, bro. I forgot his name, but he actually sent two of the beats without Uzi's permission, and Uzi like kicked him out. You know his name? <laughs> yeah, Uzi was talking mad shit like you're not part of this, whatever. He he had, he has mad songs on EA. I don't know I his name. Yeah, man. Anyways, there's a song called Of Course. Long mm-hmm. story short. Uh, that song was gonna be big. It leaked like 2019, and then he played it at Rolling Loud Cal- uh, Cali. Uh, and oh, the producer yeah. is watching the live stream <laughs> on YouTube. Remind you, Uzi hasn't been fucking with him for like two years. Like, nah, I don't fuck with you, whatever. So he play, he hears it, and he's like, he's Yeah, like, I would cry boy. too. He's nah, like, No that's way, that's bro. Crazy. That's my too. beat. I guess he fucks with me now. Yeah, shit like that. Anyways, yeah, but. Bro. Yeah, no, nah, that leak shit crazy, man. Yeah, leaking is wild, bro. But yeah, I still stand on that. Leakers should die. Facts. I'm standing on that. I'm letting everybody know they keep leaking shit. Stop leaking. Yeah, stuff. heart should stop. But um, anything of yours leak? No, thank thank God. And when y'all see this, don't leak nothing of mine. Don't try nothing. I'm sure that's a weird space too. Like like, let's say you're a part of a a song that has five people on it, mm. and it leaks. It's kind of like yeah, it's always pointing, pointing the finger like did. what happened. Did I didn't you leave the, day, the file on the engineers. The producers Computer. don't really. The producers don't really get mad. Like that's who they first go to is the engineer. It's like, how did somebody get this? And then it's like, the artist is obviously. If the artist, I don't know. Some artists send their music out. You never know. Like at certain statues, when people get hired, they don't send their music out no more. But yeah, you always go to the engineer first. It's like, how did this? come out but how come certain artists like a kendrick a cole them shits never get leaked why is it always the cardies and the trippies and the nah, i was just gonna ask that too what like why is it always like them a strategy that's line. a real that's you know what i mean real. like it's never you don't see nas or whole shit getting leaked nah, why yeah. is it always fucking trippy <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense bro that's a that's a good one i'm not gonna lie but <laughs> like come on bro. it's it's more of a like that's a cult like no offense to Jay Z, there's a whole they don't Discord. A you see Cardi's Discord, yeah. the leaked Discord. Somebody sold the Cardi song for like twenty bands. 
Nah, I heard on the they were I heard I had seen something on like Twitter about Juice World. They were selling some songs about. Oh some yeah, maybe Juice it was World. Juice World for Mad Bread. Yeah, right? they were doing some. I seen it some was like a pool. It was a pool. Yeah, he did. He did yeah. like yo. He did a pool, so everybody puts in five bucks, and it went. The goal was what? ten grand. I hear nah, it. But you see how that GoFundMe yeah. shit? That is, that's, I, I get it, but it's like, I'll beans. do it. I'll pay 10 beans. Nah, <laughs> that's it. crazy. Nah, I'm not. Nah, I'm not. Right. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? Though, that's crazy, though. Like, y'all are pooling bread to get some my art. Like, that is crazy, though. That's wild, wow, bro. And then they leak, in, they, they leak pictures of, you, like, artists. Like, bro, that's crazy, bro. Like, you're getting into the dude's iCloud yeah. to hack and see what him or her is doing. Like, bro. What that's the crazy, hell, bro! Like let them, like let them have their but space. You, you were gonna mention, you're right. Um, people don't care about Jay Z leaks yeah, and like Nas like, leaks. And I, I'm no offense, like now, back well, then, no, of course, it was like, of course. But now it's like that. That's not a cult. Like he has a big, fo- like that's a big fan base. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, I'm not. Mm-hmm. But as far as like the leak culture, yeah, he, but it's not it's like not a, surrounding his name. Yeah, it's not. It's mm-hmm. not that. Like, he got a lot of leaks. Yeah, I, I don't think. even see them shits, bro. I be, I be seeing mad random like posts at like four a.m. It'll on, be a spot, random on Spotify, and then it's taken like, down. Like, nah, I've only morning. seen honestly. I don't really look for leaks. Like I'll go on like the SoundCloud daily or whatever yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I will click it and I'll listen, and then I'll just get off it. Like, yeah. And if I hear something that's leaked, I'll be like, oh wow, this came out. Like you know, yeah, just go about it. <laughs> it's whatever. I don't yeah. listen to leaks personally. I don't like listening to leaks because it's not the final form. Right, mm, it's right. not freezing. It's, it's, it's not, not. Yeah, like it's not. How do you feel about Saiyan posthumous fool. albums, bro? Posthumous? What does that mean? Like after, after they, they pass, pass away, away, they oh, like all the Juice albums, the X albums. I don't, you know? I don't support it. I don't like it. Mm, That's what's up. Even even if let's say, God forbid, Cardi passes away. God forbid, yeah. he has a project already done, mm-hmm. been done. I think they should. You think they it. should not drop it? Yeah, I don't think they should drop it. Mm. I think like if because you don't know what he like pop would have like pop smoke was. Is a great um, artist. Like, yeah, great yeah. artist. Perfect. Like everything he was doing when he's coming up was was crazy. Just Energy, 19, everything. Yeah. But you don't think that album was good? The shoot for when the he stars came out, for the moon. It wasn't what Pop would have made it. Really? I, I thought it was so. orchestrated greatly. I, no, I think it was a good album, but yeah. I don't think it would be what Pop would have wanted. Mm. That's the thing. Like, because we would never thing. know, really. Yeah, right? that's the thing with Juice World too. Like all these Juice World songs that are coming out and. Being pushed together yeah, and nah, that's made, a, that shit it's like yo, Uzi, bro. Uzi said the same thing that yeah. like the the posthumous songs with with Peep and X, like mm-hmm. he really didn't want that to come out, but he had already like signed off on it years ago. Yeah, mm. that's another thing. It's like, bro, I don't know. I feel like if somebody has passes away, yeah, respect them. That's it. Respect saw, their family. You saw what Tyler said at a concert the other day. No, he said, "Don't you ever fucking make no drop no shit." <laughs> don't he said he's in his will or whatever he uh, said don't fucking drop no music after I die yeah, nah, yeah bro <laughs> don't do not that's like <laughs> even with beats too like if a producer passes away that's it them beats are dead bro like you cannot use those like, mm. those are done like, yeah what well, he put out to the world already yeah. that, that's what should be celebrated yeah literally like, in my opinion go celebrate the album that came out when he was when he was here mm-hmm. you should have celebrated it that way that you're celebrating it now when it was out but you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Do that now. No, nah, but my perspective is the money part of it. I just hope, like, Juice World's camp, Mac Miller's camp, or X, I hope his family is getting a majority of that money. I don't know if the labels are dropping these projects because they're trying to fulfill the contract. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. five album, ten album contracts yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's a little greedy. Like I think you should just, I think the person should just sleep in peace. Yeah, mm-hmm. There should be something in the contract. If that person passes, then... That's it. Label. No, for sure. Fuck the contract. Yeah. It's over with. I like, think they should just let everybody just relax. Families, like the bro, like the ki- one of the kids pass away and a project comes out a week after. The family can't even grieve, bro. Like they're mm, hearing millions of people true. singing a song. That's like, true. Pop yeah. Smoke's mom said that shit. That yeah. she couldn't like listen to the radio you're putting them already in a business business aspect of it like it's like oh whatever it doesn't matter he passed away come on let's just keep getting the money like it's like bro they don't care about the money the radio spins yeah like they care about who passed away you know Mm, what i'm saying like and mm -hmm. that's like how i feel i feel like if anybody passes away just let their art go to rest with them like you know how many posthumous albums tupac got no like five Really? That's yeah. a lot, bro. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, boy. That's too much. Like that's 98, not even including 99, like uh, 2000, 2004, bro, that's 2006. too much. You know there's a 2006 Pac album with Nipsey on it? 
What? Yeah, I swear to God, bro. I that's think it's like, called Pox Light. Don't get me wrong. There was who had a song with Michael Jackson? Uh, Drake. Drake. It was Drake. Yeah. That song was trash. It was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we trash. I ain't gonna lie. The Michael Jackson. They again, like Michael Jackson. He had to pay goat. probably like ten million for that. What was that's the name a of that legend. track again? I don't know, but uh, it's they who Kaka. cares, right? Who gives a fuck? Nah, nah. See how I say all that. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think like they should let that rest, like. The Michael Jackson, Jackson Juice World. What about yeah. Aaliyah samples and shit? No, like that? let the, let her rest, bro. Everything. Man, I, I, I really love a good that. Aaliyah sample, bro. Nah, it is <laughs> fire. It is fire. <laughs> but it's just like I don't know. I feel like just let that. Maybe do it in a different way. Maybe if like somebody goes to the label, like show them like who's a legend in the label and play them like something. You know what I'm saying? To inspire the up and coming right. artist that's coming in, like something like that. Like Word. this actually. Uh, it, this brought this question to my mind because. People who do the samples and whatnot, you see a lot of uh, what do they call it? Like, oh, fuck what? And what do they call it? Like the remakes or interpolations? Oh, like when like, of old songs? Yeah, like the like the Bronx drill type shit, genre? like the Bronx drill shit. Yeah, but it's more so like you know, like Coyle Ray's. Uh, oh, the type. hold up. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like, 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 just like redoing remake. a classic, I guess. Or like J.I. the Prince with that song. Um, I forgot. What the fuck I know what you're talking about. Like a song was already a hit 30 years ago, and then they, and then they're making it a hit again. Yeah, right? basically trying to make it a hit again. Yeah. I, I, As a producer, how do you feel about that? I support it. Okay. One of my like, I'm gonna say closest friends, but like he's close to my homies, and mm -hmm. I, I, his work is amazing. He's the hottest. He's the hottest person in New York right now. And that's Who's Cash that? Cobain. Oh, of course, Cash. Yeah. Cash makes hits out of old school records. Like, and he makes hits. Like, he knows how to sample. Like, that's like, that's the main thing. Like, he knows how to sample. My mm -hmm. hey, my favorite is Hey There, Delilah. That yeah. Flip, that flip goes yeah. so hard. Hey, that hey, was Delilah, crazy. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. You like, put me onto that song. Yeah. yeah Cash, Cash is, he's the, the owner of Sample and Sexy Drill. So, I honestly, I. I'm behind that. Like I think that it's a it's I think it's a good movement. I think it if the artist that made the hit years ago likes the song that's right, now, you know what right, I'm saying? Like right. why not? Mm -hmm. Like it's cool. I got a question too. How do you feel about let's say people look at your beats or they know your beats for a certain style? Do you ever do you feel pressured to keep doing that same style? No. Or would you ever like you see like the cash go band type shit is flowing, right? Mm -hmm. That that shit's going. Mm. -hmm. Do you feel like, all right, let me try that? Too. No, I'm going to stay in my lane. Okay. I'm going to stay in my lane because it's just like, as a producer, it's like when you create a sound and you follow the wave, mm -hmm. it's two different things. When you follow the wave, you're going to drown. When you create a sound. Bars. <laughs> Kinda when, is, you, when, when you create a sound, you're like, you're making something organic. Now it's just you got to get people to, to mess with it. Mm, so now right. it's like, that's what it makes. A beat maker follows the sound. A producer makes the sound. You know what I'm saying? But don't you think you got to make enough beats for people to recognize your shit? Right? Not really. You can no? stick to your sound and just keep... Bro, if you find one person, like if I I produce and I make freaking, I don't know, Drill yeah. Rage or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm sending it to you, and you're, what, a local artist, you know, you're working, you're working at just as hard as me. We're working, we're dropping, we're dropping, mm -hmm. and we're getting, like, we're putting money behind it. We're trying our hardest. I'm going to stay with you because it's like, yo, we're going to... So at one day, one time, if we stay at this pace, it's gonna blow. It's gonna go. You just gotta stay consistent and stay down. Like that's the main thing. Just stay down. Like if you're creating a sound, stay down and believe in the sound. Like don't ever get discouraged by anybody saying like, oh, but he's doing this. Why are you not doing this? Like, mm -hmm. bro, stick to what you're doing. Like, right, stay right. with you, what you're doing. You want to create something. a style and yeah. not be trendy. It's like fashion. Like yeah. you either got style or you're trendy. Because you, you don't could go be like yeah. like with cash like. It's the energy, like people don't understand that either. Like, it's there's real like behind a beat, a good beat is energy. When you hear a cash beat, it's energy it behind you. it. It yeah. moves you. It's like oh, when you hear "Wake Up Filthy," it's like oh, the whole arena is going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. there's energy behind that that beat when that when he was making that beat. So it's like when you just copy something, it's like you're not really putting mm -hmm. energy behind it. You're just copying it. You're just going down and just like, oh, okay, he did this, I'm gonna do this. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Well, you you see how like, do you ever feel like you gotta have, you have to be synonymous with an artist? So like, you know how like in 2017, Pierre mm -hmm. Bourne, Cardi, yeah, Benny X, Yeet, like mm -hmm. just certain 
artists are just synonymous with do you ever feel like i gotta have that artist or it don't matter no nah, like I, as a producer i, I think <clears throat> I shout think, out Benny X, by the way. Yeah, he, shout out Benny X. Benny X. <laughs> That's the family. He's on. He's on working on dying. That's mm-hmm, gang. Mm-hmm. I recently just seen him a couple months ago. Fire. But um. But you get what I mean, though. Like you know how. Yeah, like, yeah. What I'm saying. What I would say on that is you like you need that as a producer. I guess is the question. Coming up with somebody mm-hmm. is what you want because you guys know. You guys go. You build chemistry. You learn each other. It's it's different from me sending a beat to like. You feel me? Like you, like I'm your a list celebrity. I send it to you. That's just, a, you know what I'm saying? If you don't really like the B, it's just a hit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever. But when you build up with somebody and come into this mm-hmm. with somebody, it's it plays a big factor. Yeah, because Ye and Benny X. Yeah, it plays a big factor. And that's, as that well. goes back to what I'm saying about the energy. Like, you're putting all your energy with that other person. So the music has something behind it besides money. It's like there's energy behind it that's going to push it. Right, it's right. gonna make the ears like oh they're like you're gonna feel it you know what I'm saying, but um, yeah I think coming up with somebody is is very important. I feel like that's an important step at the beginning too because yeah you once you build a foundation and people recognize you mm-hmm. and connect you with an artist yeah I feel like that opens the door to like Drake working with Benny X or like yeah you know um like yeah. the baby's producer I forgot his name um mm-hmm. fuck uh, I drew a blank but either way you know what I'm saying like. <laughs> I feel like that connection helps to expand. Nah, your, yeah, it, it cuz it's bringing clientele. a new life to music. Like Yeet was a new like everybody was like, "Whoa." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when Cardi dropped whole lot of red, it shifted the whole culture of music. Like no facts. Absolutely. And every aspect, like from fashion to music to performances, everything, like it shifted mm-hmm. and it br- it brought everybody back to that like, "Oh wow, like we have something that we can listen to. Like this is something that I like." You know what I'm saying? Like so I mean those those duos, it plays a big part. It brings new life to the music. So then it inspires like the Drakes, the Hoves, the you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, like it right, makes everybody sure. like listen, like, oh shit, like what's this? Like maybe I can make my own spin to this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then that's what I so coming in with somebody is very important. So who you think's the greatest producer? The greatest producer? Yeah. Me. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's why I patted him. That's why I patted him. Yeah, yeah talking me. shit. Bro. And if it's not me, it's working on dying. Everybody ain't working on dying. From Word. Oogie to yeah, shout out everybody on, on the team. Shout out best producers from Oogie, Filthy, Benny X, to Facts Only, everyone to Kimchi, everyone like those are the top. Like you know what I'm saying, like we're the, that's a top collective. Like they are the hottest producers in this. Yep, simple as that. I agree. Yeah, I would have to agree. We're and shout out to Boss Man N- Ness. Ness is that's the shout out Ness. That's man. the old strike. Hey man, we gotta get any of y'all want to pull up here? Shit. Doors open, man. So who? who <laughs> okay. No, I, was I was gonna say. So, who are some some artists you fuck with lately, man? Some new artists. New artists. Yeah. Uh, I've been bumping a lot of Prada Sage. Prada, Prada Sage. Sage. Put me putting on. this on, man. Putting everybody on. Prada okay. Sage. He's tough. He's from Portland. He's really good. He's a really good artist. Um, Dre Hill. Dre artist. Hill. Okay. Uh, I've been bumping a lot. There's this kid on SoundCloud. Let me see if I can find it real quick. How you feel about SoundCloud shit turning black now? Wait. <laughs> I that shit like trash, right? Yeah, I don't like it. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Nigga, wait, Sorry, emo it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I didn't. I didn't get it. For I did not like it. It's like yeah. McDonald's turning. Blue. I was on the phone. I had a debate about this for like a long time. Because brand like, identity, my bro. On the phone, like, why did they do this? Brand identity is so important, bro. Yeah. You think about Spotify. You think about the green. Like, yeah. It's the colors. You know? it don't but make no um, Z6. He's in. He's uh. He's part of Homicide. You know Homicide Game? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I've definitely heard of Z6. Z6, sure. I produce a lot for Z6. Uh, That's hard. Big Shout out Erin, who who works with Opium. She's oh, the manager for them. Oh, Aaron, she right? holds it, she holds it down for me every time. Thank you. That's fine. And um, I work with Big Avelli. He's Homicide too. I like working with Big Avelli. Uh, homicide Fat. Fat is crazy. He got a lot of, like, his new songs are wild. Um, I'm trying to think who else, like. There's a couple of new artists that I've been bumping. A couple. Oh, uh. John Cena. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> what is this? Uh, damn, 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 damn. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I've been bumping this one song, bro. How you feel about Dirk saying you drink pee? That's Word, insane. that shit was crazy. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I swear I didn't see yeah, that. That's a leaked Yo, verse from Search and Rescue. Like, you know the what? Drake shit? Yeah. Was it Search and Rescue? Search and Rescue, yeah. There's a leaked verse from that. And. 
Dirk says like uh, India, I'm cool with drinking pee. <laughs> I, nah, see, but I, I support. I'm he love his girl, bro. He love his girl. He love his girl. That's that's like stand on that. That's necessary. But you gotta keep it. A, you think about. That's it why way. I didn't come out. Think about this. You, y'all got girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I do. <laughs> nah. I'm single as a <laughs> but, I do. I do. You do. Yeah. But you feel me? You wanna drink your girl's pee? No. That's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely Yo, that not. Quick. Absolutely not. We gotta clip not. that. We put that in the snippet, <laughs> bro. I. <laughs> Yo, bro, but it's like I don't give a shit. If you love your girl, like, I, I mean, get, I, I love get her, but not her urine. Look, I'm not drinking piss. I'm not drinking piss. Where, I'm are just, you a piss advocate? Nah, I'm not a piss advocate. <laughs> Only if it's see through. No, if it's yellow. No, I'm not doing that. But what I'm saying though is like, I get where he's coming from. He's saying that he's drinking piss because he loves his girl. Oh cool, God, yeah. but he he dragged it. I don't know why he dragged. Bro, it. He dragged that. He dragged mud. it. He dragged it. That line didn't come out. But yeah, let's talk about placements, man. What's it's your biggest placement right now, man. Biggest placement. Yeah. Uh, Amine meant to be. Mm. Amine. Yeah. He just dropped a new a project recently. Yeah, like some Sinatra. summer vibes. Yeah, yeah. That was fire. It was uh, I would say Amine's a big placement and I got um I did a runway for Matthew Williams for wow. Eden Studios. Uh he he owns uh or is like creative, creative director. director for Givenchy. Givenchy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't That's a big move, man. Yeah, I was just with him a couple I think it was He like, was in Paris, no? Yeah, January. I was with him in Paris. I had went to go see him. And then um I went to the Women's Fashion Week runway. Which oh, was fire. like that was dope. It was a crazy experience. Wow, fire. Yeah. And <laughs> just even meeting him, like speaking to him and getting like, you know what I'm saying, game from him. That's he's a really fire. good he's a really good dude, really genuine dude and really like he works like you know what I mean like right. he works mm. like you could tell by like his face everything like he is a hard worker that's and what's up yeah uh, you wanna get into hot takes boy yeah we can do it let's go hot let's takes it. are you let's ready see what the friend? culture got for us are if you, you don't know what hot takes is basically every week we ask you to give us your you know your thoughts on the rap game and whatnot Spice. the culture you know and saying? it does get spicy. People be talking their shit. All right, so my man said, you ready? Mm -hmm. Uzi bringing out loan. What? Look, crazy typo. He said Uzi bringing out loan and Uzi back to back. He probably <laughs> made Cam, Cam, man. Uh, is top any moment so far this year. I agree. Word? That was a yeah. goaded. That was a goaded. That was a goaded. And I like how he gave the mic to loan and he went like. Yeah, that was cool. That was fine. That was a good. That was a good. He said, "Flicks could kill, baby." Shit, That's how he be sounds every time, right? Nah, that I would say that I agree with that. I agree with that because thinking back to the other festivals we've been to, bro, I can't really. As far as this year, the first six months, that was that's definitely one of the better ones. I'm not gonna lie. I went to. I was at Rolling Loud, Cali, New York. Last, last one, 2022. Year, yeah, Cardi brought out Uzi. Well, that was last. Oh, that year. was 2021. Oh, last year. Yeah, that no, was two, two years, years ago. ago yeah. That, that was, was two years ago. Yeah, boy, we in 2023, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was when it was raining, right? Yeah. That was the best set I've ever been a part of. Yeah, that, yeah, was that shit was crazy. People didn't even know Uzi came out. I didn't even know so Uzi dark. came out till I got home because nah, I couldn't I, see. It's I mad dark. Right Two and I got years? home and my cousin's like, yo, bro, you just witnessed history. I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, I know. That's when they made up. Like, bro, too. Uzi, like, they hugged on stage. I'm like, what? Quick question. 1629, what's up with that? Like, yo. That should come out. I ain't gonna lie. It's tough. That would be a crazy. That would be, honestly, it's I Lucifer. Heard it? it's no, Luke? I never heard it. I, never heard right. it. I don't uh, even know if it's real. It's <laughs> Satan and Lucifer going at it. <laughs> honestly, I think, like, yo, how you feel on that, son? Come what? on. I want to hear that, bro. What? How you feel about this devil shit in the game, bro? I don't know about none of that. No comment? No comment. I can't speak on that. Damn. Illuminati watching. That shit bro. crazy. Yeah, I don't speak on that type of stuff. I don't, right. you know, just, you know, whatever. Next topic. But, um, next topic. <laughs> um, 1629, I think that would break the internet. Oh, no, dude. absolutely. Like, break if they the did internet. I think it would break the internet. Like, I think it would, honestly, like, it everybody would, would go I think crazy. it would crack. 200 300k yeah, first week. I think they, Kendrick did like 289. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 cooking everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna be I, completely how honest. many tracks I, would it be? How would it have, home, you bro. think? I don't know, I don't know. But if that were to come out, that would be honestly insane. All right, all right, next one. Let's see. It's stupid to get mad at someone for having a new rapper less than five years in the game in their best rappers of all time list. If I'm listening to Ken Carson and having 
the fun I never had while listening to another to other artists, why wouldn't he be in my top five of all time? Uh, it's stupid to get mad at someone for having a new rapper in their top five. I mean, I get where he's coming from, but like the nostalgic of it, like yeah, it depends on the person. Yeah, you know? like certain rappers, certain artists bring you back to like certain times. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't know, like if Ken Carson is giving him that much joy, then yeah, that should be in your top five. I'm not against it. Yeah, but all time, you know, you got you have your old times, and then you have your recents, and then yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, but. Yeah, it depends on the moments that you have with an artist. But if Ken Carson's giving him that joy, then shit. Yeah. That's how I feel with Juice World. He's in my top five. Where? He's in my top five, too. He's pretty recent. Who's your favorite artist? Or, like, top two, top three? Top three? Ever. Like, your your whole life. Future. Damn, Future's goaded, bro. And all... What's your favorite Future album? All time? Future album? Hendrix. Word? Yeah, I That's saw hard. what you said about uh, it was Wizard or something like I that. I think yeah. High Off Life. That shit what, it was gas. High Off Life. You That's said my something? that's my favorite Probably, future album. Yeah. 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 yeah, what did y'all said? DS two, yeah. right? I think High Off Life is better. I think High Off Life is better. Nah, crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm like stripper Percocet joint, bro. That shit cool. You're crazy, bro. I just think there's some over. What do you think? I just think that project has Wait, some skips, bro. People be sucking that album too much. Yo, nah, nah. Bro, I know it's a classic, but that, I'm saying Hendrix is the singing everybody one. Everybody right? that but if you, if you, honestly, if you ask me, I think Hendrix is bo- better than both. See, that's the that's as crazy yeah, as my I think, take. I think Hendrix is is better than both of them. I'm I sorry, gotta Monster be this way. Yeah, that shit hallucinating is was crazy. Yeah. Trophy. Was, yeah. <laughs> what's, it, what's, the, what's the one with the two red lines? That's Monster Two, right? Two red lines. Oh, that's Monster. Monster. No, 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 no. Sorry, that's Beast Mode Two. Beast I love Mode. that mixtape. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold, hold you. Yeah, that that shit underrated as fuck. Blue chips or blue, blue cheese, whatever. Yeah, that was Wi-Fi yeah. lit. You know, in fact, Wi-Fi lit is the reason that Juice and Future did that collab. That's tough. Yeah, Juice World DM Future like, yo, that Wi-Fi lit crazy, and then Future's like, let's do a tape. That's tough. They did that shit in one day. They did that whole tape in one night. That is tough. Sipping on lean. My man said Cardi's feature on the weekend song was mid. No, it wasn't. I don't think it's a feature. That shit was though. not mid. I don't no. think it's a feature. I think it's a bridge. Shine top of me. Shine top of her. What he said? It's like a Shine bridge. Shine fuck with me because I fuck with her. Beep. Flock. That's all he did. Flock. <laughs> what people don't understand though is like Cardi is like a like he's an instrument in the in the music. It bro. just wasn't enough. Did you not see the? It the just wasn't shit? enough. I think it was like he's a he's an instrument. It wasn't bro. enough though. <laughs> but it's like two seconds. That's what I'm saying. People gotta wait. That's like, why wait I'm saying what? it's a bridge. The song's over just already. Wait, he give Would you call that a verse? That shit nah, was a bridge. That's a bridge. That's what I'm saying. It was like a you know like nav at the end of Yosemite type shit. My man said, Lil Pump and Danny Duncan needs to work. ASAP Rocky's new album could have more of an impact than Utopia. Don't at me. You never know. I can't bro. wait. I, me personally, I'm I looking forward to that wait. more than anything. Of me this too. Year. Yeah, Rocky, Rocky's tough, bro. Yo. But then you, but more of an impact than Utopia. That's that's a hot take. That's a hot. I take. think that's a hot. take I don't know. I can't even answer. I don't know how to answer that because that's really hard. Yeah, like, word, I think right? Utopia is gonna have that eternal take effect where it's taken so long for it to come out. No matter what, people are gonna talk shit. Mm. Same thing with Rocky, no? Yeah, they but can we do expect, the same thing with Rocky. We expect lie. Rocky to take a hiatus every four years. With, with Astro World, it's been five years, bro. Bro, same yeah. thing with Rocky. What are you talking about? Came out but before Astro. But he do, he does that. He's been doing that since the beginning. He drops a project, waits three, four years, and then like we expect that from Rocky. With Travis, he had a whole momentum going up. To, you know, after 2018. You yeah, know? because of that tragedy. That yeah, happened. I don't know. That was a good question because that, that's tough. That's right? tough. I'm not even. Aware. I don't even know either. Who are you a bigger fan of? Rocky. Word. Yeah, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah. You have a favorite Long Rocky live project? ASAP shit. Stop playing. Um. ASAP Yams. Rest in peace. I like certain Rocky songs. I wouldn't say a project. As opposed to projects. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think excuse me. Excuse Brand me. Brand new favorite. guy. Yeah, Schoolboy Q. Fine. Stop playing. My man said Coyle Ray had the best performance on the Spider Verse soundtrack. Facts. You heard that shit yet? Nah, it's that not. Shit, facts. I don't it's know the about first the best song you hear in the movies. Oh really? I haven't. I want to go see the movie. I haven't heard the soundtrack yet. And y'all need to stop saying I'm biased because I work with her. Yeah, that shit is fucked bro, up. It's because I the first actually, like ten episodes, y'all love Coil Ray. She's the best artist of all time. I'll suck a dick. Wow. Was wilding. Oh, look, look, I'm gonna give her wild. head. I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this. This <laughs> nigga's wild. <laughs> the best female artist to me is BB Tricks. BB Tricks? Yeah, get hip. Never heard of that. You gotta get put hip. me on. Get hip. I'm telling you, bro. I gotta BB get. BB Tricks. I'm pushing hip. the agenda. T R I X or B 
Yeah, B B like the letters, and then T R I C K. Okay. And then I think C. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Where's she from? Spain. Oh, you just stumbled. She's oh, from where? Spain. Yeah, she's from Spain. Tricks are for kids. And that's she raps. What's up. Yeah. Wait, is that like the the I, the Spaniard ice spice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, uh, yeah, she fine. Yeah, she mm. fine. You gotta hear her like other Spit, album, though, like right. her little project. That she be crazy. rapping, rapping? Or yeah, she's I've also. seen her. She she looks good. You know what I'm no, saying? She's tough. <laughs> she looks good. <laughs> she's a tough artist. She's a tough artist. She's a great artist. My man yeah. said, "Pink tape is gonna be better than Utopia." Pink tape. He said he keeping that shit on his hard drive as on a chain. You saw that? I got the whole Uzi. pink tape right here. He said that? Right here on my chain. Yeah, on, on live. <laughs> yeah. Um, right here. Yeah, nah, I, I don't know, man, because he's got so many songs. I, I, I can't imagine being in his position. He Uzi. probably has thousands of songs. Uzi's so talented. Boy. Yeah, it's crazy. They're both talented. I know. Travis facts. and Uzi. They have like five years of music that I they're holding on to. let the music come out and just digest. Like everybody just listen and then, you know. Go Word. off that. Like, let's just come out. It's like two good let's, meals. Let's it's like two yeah. good ass let's meals. Let's, let's just relax. Let's not, you know. Yeah. Like, it's like you're not comparing a steak dinner to fried chicken, bro. Like, you, you, know, you just chill, bro. You gonna yeah. eat both, relax, work out. Like, Word. that's true. That's true, right? Yeah. Wait, what's the question though? No, it's not a question. He just said pink tape is gonna be better than Utopia. I don't think so. I don't know. My man said that Metro Spider album High Key is better than Heroes and Villains. I don't know. I nah, I it's it. definitely not. Heroes of Villains is fire. Yeah, I've heard not. the new uh, Heroes. Absolutely not. I didn't get the same feel. I've heard the new Spider Verse album like front to back like ten times already, mm -hmm. and and it's not. Not even nah. close in my opinion. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Yeah. My man said Cochise dropped a little sleeper. Cochise, he's, he's tough. I said it wrong. Cochise. Yeah, Cochise. He works with um, Benny. I seen mm. something that Benny, I think, produced on his recent project. It was we've fine. we've discussed. I have yet to dive into lot. his music. I it's, have it's not hard even listened to, to any songs yet. For me, it's hard to differentiate him from like the pack. In my opinion, in my opinion, don't mean shit. But like, like it's just hard. Out, like he like? doesn't stand out. There's nothing stylistic wise for me mm -hmm. that makes him stand out from the pack. You know? Mm. Yeah. I okay. mean, I think he's talented. I think he's, he's a great artist. He went off in a. He had a whole his tour. Performance fuck was fuck do I know? Yeah, yeah. Shit. He said, "Fuck do I know?" <laughs> Kendrick hasn't been going as hard as he can go. He can wrap circles around everyone, but he chooses to be more personal and introspective on records rather than give us MC caliber. Who's this? Rhymes. His best friend. This is Frank. How do you Benji. know this? I feel yeah. like low key. I kind of get what he's saying though. Nah, I, I get it. If he really wanted to, he could run laps and be aggressive and come at all these rappers it's just that lyrical rap is not in the forefront so he don't have to do that yeah they, they want hits right now they so uh, he, he just talks more I don't think personal it's the lyrical shit. rap side of things you know I just saying? he, he, he doesn't care for control it. whenever he wants to he doesn't care to be remember that verse control verse yeah <laughs> imagine yeah, that shit in 2023 bro I don't yeah. think he cares and he came to at every like new that. rapper in the game right now who's coming at Kendrick only Cole Kid Baby Keen only Cole, Hope, Nas, <laughs> they ain't really much. Tyler the Creator's in that top three. So he's great, not but he ain't better than Kendrick. Tyler Creator, he's not pen wise. Yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about creatively, but yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good. Yeah, that was a good take. Good take. My man said Cardi hosting an opium festival and having the right people on the lineup <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would top Camp Flognog, Dreamville Fest, Bad and Astro opening. Fest to that caliber. He gonna have bad neighbors open up. Yo, <laughs> bad neighbors, bro. They scare me, fam. Yeah, they're scary. Oh. Bad neighbors. They, you know, they yeah. got mad tattoos everywhere. They be rolling their eyes. Yeah. I probably, I probably seen. They're under 10k projects. Damn, a opium. 10k project. I, I think I know what you're talking Yo, about. Yo, opium festival would be nuts, fam. That would be a lot of mosh pitting. You would need a lot of water. Word. You would need a oh, lot yeah. of water, and you would have to be ready to get punched in your face the whole time in the mosh pit. Yeah, and you gotta bring a Bible with you, no yeah, cap. Word, no, <laughs> Yo. no cap, bro. That shit would definitely be called Saints Playground. <laughs> My man said Metro's run in music right now is crazy good. I think very few producers are touching him. Love to see such a boom in his success over the last year, especially with the low facts. What happened? Boom, boom in his success. That's a bar. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Such a boom in his success over last year, especially with the loss of his mother happening right when he was hitting the top of the mountain. That we see him yeah. on now can do nothing but respect his pers perseverance and success yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Word, that's a good ass yeah man. metro is on a on a great run right now and and yeah. he's you know he deserves that and he down to earth too like yeah he's a cool dude like losing your mom is bro that's crazy like 
He's yeah. taking all that emotion and putting that in the music, bro, and like doing probably what she wanted him to do, you know. Word. So that's great for him. Like he is on a great run. I see Metro. I usually you don't really see Metro like in the blog so much or like yeah out and media. about and stuff. yeah like he's out he and outside about. for yeah, real like he's doing it. like you could tell like he's you on seen his Coachella level. set. Nah, I didn't. That shit was wow. Nuts. That's I one of the best. At Coachella, it was fire. Word? Yeah, Fouché. Fouché. Yeah. Or Fouché. I don't. I'm probably saying it wrong. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was tough. Nah, but I met Metro at a CD signing for this recent project, yeah, yeah. and I had a cassette of his previous one, uh, All Heroes Wear Cape. Not all, not all Heroes Wear, wear Cape. Wear capes, yeah. So I had that, and I came up to him and was like, yo, you mind if you sign this classic too? And he's like, oh, shit, yo, you the first one to bring an actual cassette of this. Like, That's you right. All. He's like, yo, yeah. you all. I like, I, I've been saying it recently. <laughs> like, Metro, he's kind of like the leader of Metro. of the producer pack, in my opinion, right now. Like he's, He has, like, four tags, too, that are all hard. Yeah, yeah Metro stuff. <laughs> and, I, and I just remember. <laughs> when he was coming up with Sunny Digital and a few other people like I don't know if we knew he at came the up time with Southside too. Yep. Yeah, yeah exactly I don't know if we knew at the time that he was gonna be like this mm, like you know nah. what I'm saying on some Timbaland shit nah, he was different once you I know. heard that Honest beat he different bro. bro once he produced for Drake and Future bro it was like oh, okay like you got it bro like that was yeah. like that was uh, top to bottom a great project yeah I actually sent out a, a, a comment under a Lil Wayne post like because they were saying Lil Wayne is like washed or some shit. Yeah. And I was just like, if if Wayne connected with Metro, Benny X, and like, yeah. you know, working on dying and shit, yeah, I yeah. feel like, you know, I don't feel that way, but the, yeah. those who do, yeah. he'll tell, come back. You tell, know what tell, I'm saying? Tell, tell Wayne tap in then. Facts. <laughs> Speaking Facts. of Wayne, he said he ha- doesn't even remember anything. Like, they asked him how it's you feel. Drugs. What he is, had what mad is the Carter seizures, 3 bro. mean to you? Today makes 15 years. He's like, honestly. Carter one, two, three, four. I don't remember any. Wayne's an icon, bro. They didn't leave him alone. That's insane. Let, sort of. It's, it's insane, but he, you know, he he probably does remember. You know what I mean? He's, he said he didn't even remember what album Amelie was on. Uh, I think he says. Bro, he shit. makes a no, lot they, of music. They said Lollipop remix. He was like, "Safe." What is it? Well, you better not wear the late oh, text. Kanye, I yeah. think he's like. That's hard. Who said that? He's like, bro, what? That's you. He's bro, like, he what? Probably, bro, you got to understand. I though, said you, that? He makes a lot of music. Yo, Wayne probably Except makes like. 14. Yeah, he probably has a catalog of. Bro, he probably has a whole. And remember when I said this a while ago? Yeah. He never had any control of any aspect of his career other than the music. The the art direction, the what's what song to pick on the album. He never had a say. It was always He tight. wanted to kiss his dad and shit, and that's what happened. <laughs> Yo, yo. His dad, you know, he don't own a cash money shit. It yeah. is what it is, bro. He had no control. You see, he was in a five year suing shit, and then uh, he got Nicki, Drake, he's an icon, Tiger, yeah. he's a and a uh, little twist. Don't do drugs, kids. You forget everything. But I don't like what he did, though, at his LA show, though, bro. No, you do. The crowd oh, was booing the shit out of his other young money artists. They got like three, they got like 300 and listeners he like, on the shit. He, he, he was like, that, they don't deserve this shit. We out. He just dropped the mic and did. How you feel about that? <laughs> I feel like you cater to the fans to a certain extent. When a fan starts disrespecting you, bro, you gotta stand on time. They're not respecting him, disrespecting him though. Disrespect- That's the product of him. Boy. His- yeah, but they suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, product of him. That's like but if- the fans pay for a ticket. If the right, product, so if booing, how if you gonna do it in the middle booing, of his if set? If they booing John on, on the stage, what you doing? <laughs> if they booing John on the stage, what you doing? If his music is ass. <laughs> You gonna let him get booed? Yeah, you nah, gotta that's take crazy. it, bro. Take You're not that gonna shit. Your man's off the stage. Yo, bro, that's crazy. That literally, <laughs> listen. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, like, like, yo, bro, yo, my bad, yo, my bad. That's yo. just a testament to his art. It's not good enough. Get get, get good. But maybe maybe Straight Wayne up. maybe maybe Wayne took him off the stage and spoke to him after. Like, yo, bro, like, Y'all bro, one trash. of those dudes that he had performed had 400 monthly listeners. How do you expect the crowd to be involved? How did you get signed to middle? Young Money? Hold on. I understand if you have openers, but they weren't openers. He does 10 songs, leaves, and has these dudes come out. It's a buzz kill, bro. I started scrolling on Instagram yeah. when they came out for the Philly show. I didn't even see it. I and they suck. <laughs> of course I'm booing. I got to see I got to see it. I got to see it. I got to <laughs> yeah, see yeah, it. I don't blame. Anyways, that was a little rant. My man said, Pierre Bourne hasn't unlocked his full potential, not even close. He had a Metro Boomin type produced type album with Future. He names a bunch of people. He could hit 10 million listeners easily. Mm. I think he's just too focused on trying to be a rapper. Yeah, Pierre. Pierre's an artist now. Yeah, he's a great producer. Yeah, hands down. But he's a rapper. He needs to, I think he needs to focus specifically on one thing. Maybe. I know he does both. Now I feel like I feel like people don't give Pierre a chance. 
Word. They, they don't really like. It's like, oh, bro, you only do this, so we're only used to you doing this. Like, just listen. I mean, give them, give them a listen. Give me your full ears. Like, listen to a project. Like anybody that's a producer and an artist, like give them your full ears before you even like construct it. Like, and I'm talking about full ears for like a month. Right. Like not like just two days, three days. Like really listen and digest the music and like understand it. Mm-hmm. And then give your take. Give like, oh, okay, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Like, Have you been in the room with him at all? Or? Nah, I've never been in the room, Pierre. Because, you know, people say shit, but, like, I, I feel like he, he's the type in person where he's a little shy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. Like, I feel like that that's aspect a of being an to artist. Is getting bigger? I think so, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but you think he just doesn't, like. I, I'm shy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I'm in the room, I'm just, yeah. I'm work. I'm gonna work. Right, you know what I'm, right, right. I'm not I, like we could. You know what I'm saying? Talk whatever, cool. They see they uh, laugh and they like, yo, he not shy. Like, <laughs> now, like I'm saying, like when I'm around other people, yeah. I don't know. Like no, obviously, facts. those are my two best friends, bro. I'm, you know what I mean? They facts. know me, like. But like yeah. around people, I don't know. I'm, I'm locked in. Where we got like three more. My man right. said, uh, Kendrick and Baby Keem collab album would happen. Finna happen either this year or next year. That'd be hard. Baby Keem is tough. He don't write his own shit though. Still tough. Delivers it. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be real. Like, yo, I, bro. You so you could do what Keem is doing on a track. If you give me a piece of paper and you tell me how to say and it and Kendrick you give me a reference track. <laughs> yeah. Kendrick has like seven reference tracks. And yeah, you so just got to do, do it like how he did. All right, so look, 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 look. I'm feeling these friends. I'm feeling these friends. You, you should, you should, you should, somebody should write you a song. Yeah. And then you're going you gonna to make the song. I'm going to try. Uh, so why you gonna try now? I thought you could do it. I'm gonna try my best. Obviously, right. I mean, you know. All right, then you then you put it on the pod and see get the get uh, everybody's hot take on it. All right, bet. I guess it's a. I think it's <laughs> just no, that. I'm just talking shit, bro. I'm just a, of course, Keem is great, bro. I'm just talking nah, shit. Keem, Keem I just think it's unfortunate. Yeah. Like you, nah, his of voice course, is fire, though. like on nah, the beats and shit. Of course, shit. putting people together to make magic to make art, it, it's cool, whatever. But I think there's more. Me on the bone pause when when you find out somebody's writing their shit for real, you know. Nah, it's definitely a like it's definitely like oh like it's like it's be- it's not better that way. I want to say, but it's like oh yeah, you appreciate like, it, yeah, more. you appreciate it more. That's what I'm trying to say. But I don't know. I feel like if you could deliver, you making hit records. Like yeah, yeah, where Kanye I mean, be kinda having kinda like with, 15 you know? motherfuckers on his song. Same, make hit records. Somebody fart, you like oh I got you a crab, bro. Scoopity <laughs> doop. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> My man said Kanye. Well, speaking of Kanye. Kanye is just simply not good anymore. Every feature he has done since Donda has mostly been ass. And even on Donda, that album Yo, was his face. <laughs> Hold on. Wow. And even on Donda. He hates Kanye. And even on Donda, that album was carried by features other than a few songs. I'd personally be fine if Bro just retired from music. I don't think anyone would complain. My only comment on that is that people forget that Kanye is a producer. So Donda was made for that. Like it was for production, it was made for that. So it's like, and Ye's always had con- con- like, yeah, like twenty different people on one song. Yeah, it's always a, been a he's thing. A producer. Life of Pablo. He, yeah, he's a producer in every aspect of being a producer. Yeah. Right. He can put two artists together, make the beat. How can we figure this out? Yeah, yeah. mix it, cut it up. Like you, could, you know what I mean? He's a he's a, a real producer. Like he's yeah. a genius. And his off the grid yeah. verse was not bad. At all, it was yeah, pretty no, good. Yeah, that was really <laughs> that was, good. It was long as hell too. He yeah, just he, kept going. Yeah, yeah I nah. think yeah, it was. I think the production side of his recent work is amazing. Yeah, amazing. But when it comes to the actual bars and shit, I I he's can't, never been I can't like say an it's MC a little like la- lackluster. But my thing is like I don't think Ye is like. That's the thing. I don't think he's really like giving us like bars yet. Like I feel like he's just on production right now. Like that's what makes him mm-hmm. happy. That's what he wants to do. Like when he gets to the bar side of it, that's he, like the he, last resort. Yeah, for like him. he could do it. Like he could give us that. It just. What's I, your favorite Yeah album? Because that's always like love or hate. It's always like this. Man. Graduation or eight 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 Yeah, let's go, yeah, boy. Me too, son. Much. I see a lot of reviews that, that say that's the their whole game. Bro. I was gonna say music. Shout out Kid Cudi. <laughs> yeah. Big shout out Cudi. Shout out Cudi. Had a lot that, of influence. That on shifted it. a lot, bro. Made Drake. Shifted a lot. Yeah. My man said, "Pink Table be Uzi's best album." I hope. Nah, I don't. It, it's only it's gonna a be a great of, album, but uh, there's a lot. He has a lot of great albums. 
they're all good, right? Yeah, the, to me, they're all fine. It, I feel like it's inevitable for him to have a good, like, this to be his best. Because, like, what, he's going to divert and get worse? That's how, like. Nah, I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to be a great album. Yeah, Uzi, this, he's, he's probably right. This is going to be not the best album because like, all his albums are great. Yeah. But it's going to be one of those ones. And he has so many songs. If he <laughs> if he picks a whack song out of the hundreds that he has, Bro, thousands. He could, he could just drop a deluxe. And literally, like. You know what I mean? Like, if people are not jacking the first part, you drop a deluxe, everybody's going to love their deluxe. That's like a yeah. cheat code. Myron off of the EA. How you feel, about, how you so feel about albums having super long track lists? I think that... I'm not a fan. Personally. Yeah, if you they have a lot of DSPs. songs, it's hard to digest. It's like, really I feel hard. like now in today's day and age, like, it's just easier if you have a shorter mixtape or album, it's more replay value, too. Because I think... Mm-hmm. Destroy Lonely detriment to his album. Twenty six songs yeah. of Lone. I Sorry, love, I, know, I love Lone. I love Lone too, but I I ain't listening to twenty six tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. Baby, I do fat. You think you know what it is? He loved the song "If Looks Could Kill" so much that he's like, "Damn, I'm gonna do a whole project sounding like that." He just fell in love with the it fans, a little too much. They, they, twenty six songs is too much, especially with no features. I'm sorry, I, they're not I, diverse I, enough. I, I, mm-hmm. He didn't diverse himself enough okay, on okay, that. Okay, Not okay. that he isn't. I was about to say, but I'm saying that, got some. No, of course. But I'm saying, you see how No Stylist had different styles of songs on it. Yeah, that was a great. Yeah. Yo, if Looks Could Kill, I mean, it was that, all If Looks Could Kill. Amazing, bro. I think the production on most of their, like, Ken and Lone, they run the, the under, like, they yeah, run of course. the and I just feel like the mixing wasn't that good either on If Looks Could Kill. There were some songs where yeah, just the I really bridges were weird. I really haven't like really like listened listened mm-hmm. to it. Like I've literally like when it dropped, obviously I'm like, all right, let me play through it. There are but some. I like by the pound. That's some, my favorite. There's some dope by the pound. There's some go, songs go like, damn, it. did you put this on here on accident type shit? I'm gonna like, go back to it and text y'all and let y'all. Like, yeah. I do fuck with uh, safety that interlude. That's my favorite. Song Out of 26 like. songs, I really go back to like four or five. Wow, that's see, 26 <laughs> is crazy, man. I gotta listen to it. We got one last one. My man said, Playboy Cardi is nothing without his leaks. His Hell leaks. No. What? <laughs> how could you say that? You even hear what's in the vote. Mm. <laughs> but how could he say that when he has three great albums? Those aren't leaks. Those are three. Yeah. Yeah. That, that don't make no sense. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he that, was, that was a bad hot take. Yeah, he off meth. That was a bad hot take. <laughs> yeah, facts. He that was, was a bad hot take. <laughs> but yeah, man. That's the hot takes, man. That's the hot takes. Sick, man. Yo. What you so, wanna let what you wanna let the world know, man. And what you got planned, man. Like what what's the next five years looking like? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or plaques. whatever. Plaques. I'm on a plaque hunt. I want every plaque. Every artist. I want plaques, 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 plaques. I wanna be able to just have a wall full of plaques. And I don't know, next five years, I don't know. I'm living present right now. I'm trying to, you know, just stay focused, stay down and just continue what I'm doing and keep producing. But hopefully in five years, you know, I'm a top producer. Mm, trying to be the best sure. producer. I'm not trying to be, you know, one of the t- top producers. Like you want to be the D one, yeah. And I don't know if you've seen Russ production. Have you seen him make beats? Russ. The rapper Russ. Oh no, nah, bro. Seen him make beats. He's up. He's. N- you never seen his videos where he makes beats from scratch? On nah. live, he makes it in like five minutes. Bro, bro. nasty, bro. I never seen L- it. Yes, look into it, bro. He masters so. everything, engineers everything himself. But anyways, yeah, look into that. But yeah, man. Um, uh, anybody, you, man. anybody, because you said um, earlier like Long Island needs to like stick together and support each other. Mm. Anybody like you know you trying to bring on your back right right now or in the future like any t- anybody you reaching out to right now? Um, I'm working on dying. <laughs> um, I just uh, right now in Long Island, I just work with Dollhouse. That's my family. That's like That's Chow, Chow, Lonnie, yep. Bob. Sushi, everybody, the filming band aids, Mari. Like, I, I work with Dobbs. That's the main, like, people that I fuck with in um, Long Island. You should definitely check out Maui Mac. I'm sure you've heard his name. Maui Mac. Yeah, I th- yeah, I've, I've heard For sure. Name. And uh, there's this artist, Patek, too, scene. Yeah. They're those coming names, up. Those I think you obviously, Fazo. You, you showed me Patek. Patek, yeah. yeah, yeah. You obviously know Fazo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Long Island's coming up, man. And, I can't wait to see you, you know, be a part of that too. Uh, you nah, know? yeah, definitely. It was a fire ass episode. Facts, bro. It was hilarious. Yo, <laughs> Dash, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Any dog. last words, man? Um, anything Stay coming pure. up? 
everybody stay pure, stay down, and just focus on you. And if you're a producer, just keep doing your sound. That's, That's it, bro. Yes, sir. Stay I, off I, the I, fentanyl. I, Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs>